Uh, yesterday, I posted some of the book covers on my Instagram page. The books I'm planning to write. Uh, some of the book covers, I don't know, will be able to see them well. But uh, this is one of those book covers I'm planning to write. Uh, the book I'm planning to write about uh, it's about YouTube. Then there is a cover about uh, encouraging people to write books. There is a cover about uh, overall just green card. And also the cover about uh, books about uh, coming to America and the uh, all these kind of nice, nice things. So someone was asking me and want to know uh, what is supposed to be the size of the book? How big should I write? Is there any exact number of pages should I concern or should I write? Because that is the challenge for him and for uh, some for her, for other people. Uh, when they want to write books, they want to know uh, how big should I write? Should I write 100 pages, 200 pages, 400 pages? Uh, or what is the proper size of the book uh, in order to write? Uh, that means if you have that one, you can know exactly what you are looking forward. So the answer to that is very simple. When you are going to write the book, your job is to write the book. Your job is not to determine how big it's going to be. The story itself, the content will force you, will determine how much you are supposed to write. It's just like if you're a soccer player. Your job is to go and score if you are a striker. I'm giving an example. But don't start worrying about, I'm going to, today I want to score a goal with a penalty. Or this match I have to go and score through a header. I have to score through left. No, you cannot plan all those kind of unnecessary things. What you need to plan is make sure that do your best to be able to score the goal. So just like your job is to write a book. So if you're writing the book about your life, start writing that book. When your story is going, the story will determine the pages. So don't come with the mindset, I have to have a fixed number of pages. I want to write 300 pages. What if you reach 150? You don't have, I mean, most of the things you have already covered. So you'll end up starting writing the nonsense stuff in your book just to reach 300 pages. That is a big mistake many people are doing. It's just to, to predetermine the size of the book. So, in order to do that, I'm going to give some examples of some of my books and some of the other famous books. Uh, so, for instance, uh, this one book has almost 180 pages, A Loving Father. You see the size is just about 100 and, uh, I mean 180, 85 pages book, this one. Uh, the other book uh, about Claire, this other book has just like 106, 107 pages. This one. Then there is a book about Faustina. This book has almost 47, 46, 47 pages. So you see, because I was writing this is say letters to my unborn daughter. So the letters when I wrote the letters they were, I just finished what I was writing. So I completed and this is the book. I'm done. So the story forced me to end up with this one. I could not say I have to have 180 pages. What was I was going to write? So that is something. But when I was writing the book about scholarship, PhD scholarships for Africans in the United States, when I was writing this book, it ended up to be like over 490 something pages. 400 pages and something almost like 500 almost. How many pages to be exactly? No, it's not 400 and something, just uh, 489 pages. 489 pages. So there is no formula. While I was writing, I didn't plan to have 400 pages. I was writing the book about scholarships. Then it forced me to go there. So here I have two small books. If you see these two books are from uh, Chimamanda, and these are bestsellers book. Both of these are best. This is bestseller. This is bestseller. For instance, if you go to this one, which uh, she says, uh, "Dear Ijiwele, 
or a feminist manifesto in 15 suggestions. So what happened with this book is just like in my three books, but I wrote before Chimamanda basically. Uh, there is one person, her friend, uh, had a baby girl. So after having a baby, the friend asked for suggestion, how can I raise my daughter? So Chimamanda wrote 15 suggestions to her friend. This is how we'll be able to help you to raise a daughter in the modern time, especially to, with regard to the rights of women. So those 15 suggestions turn to become a book. So it's just a tiny book you can put in just in your pocket here. So this one is just like, this book is just about 40, how many pages? Uh, there are 64 pages. But if you com you decided to put in the book size of this nature, it will be like 20 pages. So you see, don't worry too much. But this is a bestseller. It is making a lot of money through this book. It is the, among the famous book. Same to this one. So if she was worrying about the size of the book, she could not write. She could be waiting now to have more pages. I don't know, she could put a hundred suggestions. But that's what the suggestion has. So the same thing uh, I usually do, I, I have some letters uh, on those kind of things. So one of the letters, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, one of the uh, of 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 the letters I wrote to uh, my daughter, uh, Claire. So what I usually do is just this uh, uh, similar thing. So this is one of the letters I wrote to my daughter on Women's uh, International Day or International Women's Day. So it's just like kind of like a suggestion, but I wrote these things before that even book came. So it is started with, uh, to my daughter, Claire Francisca, my dearest daughter, Claire Francisca. In the past few weeks, we celebrated your, birth, uh, your brother's birthday. I gave him one message regarding respect to all women and mothers around the world. I would like to quote some of that for you. No matter what, no matter what, to respect all women and mothers all over the world, uh, they are our civilization. I had the opportunity to experience every stage of your mother, Marie, when she was pregnant, from the morning sickness to the labor pains and childbirth. I was in the labor room. When I saw the ex when I, wh what I saw and experienced completely gave me new perspective and more respect to women and mothers. I looked back and thought of my mother who went to the labor room and had 13 children. Uh, women and mothers are the most caring individuals on the planet. The, the love and care they give to newborns, no sleeping at all during the night, being with them all 24-7 and bringing up infants to adulthood. Benedict, never take for granted anything your mother is doing for you. Never take it for granted to have Claire as your sister. How you treat your sister Claire and your mother Marie will be a replica of how you treat all women when you grow up. Claire, I always say, I know I'm not a perfect. Um, I'm not perfect, but the closest perfect. The closest person to perfection I've ever known in my life is my beloved mother. Therefore, the, the respect to my mother means respect to all women worldwide. The same applies to you, Claire. The way you treat your brother Benedict and me as your father will be a replica on how you will treat, you'll be treating all men around the world. Respect all men and the fathers like how men need to respect their sisters, mothers, and all women everywhere. One important thing you need to know, Claire, is that I had the opportunity to be raised in the family of seven girls and six boys. Long time even before the so-called women empowerment, uh, Beijing thing started and my parents did women rights by action all children were treated equal all children have the same have the same opportunities and resources my parents gave us equal education boys had to wash dishes cook gardening and so forth there was no job description for girls and boys we were all children such kind of childhood upbringing is what is defining me today my princess Claire 
never in your life plays a victim role or play a gender card. Always compete everything on merit basis. God has never created a damn child, whether a boy or a girl. Never, underestim never underestimate yourself. You are a God's masterpiece. Claire, you are born in a different era. The era of artificial, fake, and materialistic life. The world where social media makes women objects instead of human beings. This is the era where the look and the appearance of women go beyond humanity. Please don't be trapped into that. You are such, you are so much better than that. If you respect yourself, respect your body, understand who you are as a girl and a woman, you'll be very much respected. The worst part is when you don't respect yourself, you lose it all and no one will ever give you any respect. One last thing I wish, uh, one last thing, I wish majority of people could understand one important thing about women's rights and empowerment. Many people fight the wrong war. If you empower a boy, teach him to be a man, to respect a girl and a woman, will end up with a family without injustice against women. Happy International Women's Day, Claire. It's me, your loving Baba, Ernest Boniface Makurilo, Kansas United States of America. And that was March 8, 2017, when I wrote that letter. So, in this book, there are full of letters of those kind of letters. In this A Loving Father, there are so many letters about Benedict. This book also about Faustina, there are so many letters about that way. And this one are letters about to myself, just to write the future self or to remind yourself something. So, you don't need to start thinking about writing the book like you are doing some physics or anatomy, biology, all those crazy big theoretical. You can write simple things. If it ends up to be 50 pages, let it go, be 50 pages. If it's going to be 200 pages, let it go to be 200 pages. If it's going to be uh, uh, 200 pages, let it go. The story will guide you to determine how many pages you'll be able to write. But don't start writing with, I must write this number of pages. What if the story is not going to be those pages? What if the story forces you to write less, where, uh, less pages or more pages compared to that? So all those kind of things you need to consider and think that these are important things for you to be able to write that book. So I'm hoping this has been able to help you, to guide you to determine how or how big the book is supposed to be. The length of the size the book as a book author, what do you need to consider when you're going to write the books?